Yo guys, what is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, uh, mostly gentlemen, obviously. Well, not obviously, I don't even know these days. But how are you guys doing today? Hopefully everybody's having a good one. Uh, we are so close to FIFA 20. We are really, really, really close. Um, so we've got a video today, obviously on something that I've been waiting to bring out for a while. Because I want to help you guys understand what you have to do this week. And give you guys some tips and just things going on with EA Access. Kind of how it works. Uh, and just some more things along the lines of it if the video helps you today guys just drop a thumbs up and uh, I guess right now in the comments down below because I love the comments man You guys have been commenting so much recently and I'm, and I'm loving the interaction with you guys um, Just comment and let me know are you guys planning on buying EA access um, and excuse me for the video today? I'm gonna have a few voice cracks um, I'm awaiting to get my future stars card So, you know, I'm still you know, I'm still growing up and guys. I don't know why I'm having a lot of voice cracks recently It sucks, but Deal with it. So we're talking today EA Access. We're going to talk about how it works, what it is. Now, just before you guys, you know, before we get into the video or anything, EA Access is going to be this year, boys. Uh, it's going to be on both consoles. So I want you guys to understand that. So it's not just Xbox exclusive. Both consoles get this EA Access. Now, what is it, right? It's a way to play the game early with a capped amount of hours. You only get 10 hours. There was a rumor going around a few weeks ago that it was eight hours. It's not. It's 10 hours on both consoles. And I already know that because on Madden and NHL this year on PS, it was 10 hours. Um, now, this is useful because you're going to get an early start on FIFA 20. It is the full version. Everything carries over to the full game. That's been a big question that's been asked. Nick, do they does, does everything carry over? Yes. Anything you own, earn, records, all that carries over. Um, can you put FIFA points on? Yes. You can do anything the full game can. Um, you know, you're just going to have less of a user base on that. Now, the official release date for early access um and brandon smith who is pretty much i mean i would i would label him as he's not a guy who leaks stuff this was something that uh he had earlier now this is kind of a countdown slash a ticker uh to the ea access so we are about three days uh and two hours away that was of this morning right now i believe is two days and 10 hours um it's supposed to come out at like i think it's 4 p.m uk time or 11 a.m uk time on thursday that's kind of like the soft that, that's what they're planning on releasing it at. So why I'm making this video today is, well, EA Access never actually comes out uh, when they're planning on it. They always, always release it early because they have to release it early. Because, guys, imagine if EA Sports released something on time and everybody in the world was waiting to get on at that time. They don't have the servers for that. So that's why, in my eyes, it's going to come out a little bit earlier. So I think for you guys, I think this is my plan. I think the web app tomorrow night is going to come out tomorrow night or really early Wednesday morning. And then I think in the nighttime of the NA, which would be like my time is like 10 p.m. Eastern time, 9 p.m. Eastern time. I think if they'll drop it, maybe soft launch it after the Champions League on Wednesday, really late night EU. So if you're a guy in the EU, maybe it's worth staying up on Wednesday night. I don't know. I just know officially in the EU, you guys will be playing Thursday, 100% guys. Um, all of you guys will be playing um, EA Access. So just keep that in mind, guys, that on Thursday, you will 100,000% be playing FIFA 20. All around the world on Thursday, you guys will play it. It may not be at midnight, and sometimes it may take some time to get onto it. I'm going to tell you guys that last year with EA Access, um, FIFA 20 actually came out on EA Access like before the web app. So I didn't make as many web app videos this year because last year EA Soft launched you know, the FIFA 20 EA Access before the web app actually came out. So I, I'm, you know, I don't know, but I think that they they're planning on if you guys go onto the EA website right now, and you were to search up like EA Sports web app, uh, which I can do right now. I can go to EA Sports uh, Ultimate Team web app right now. If you go onto the website on FIFA 20s or FIFA 19s web app, they've taken the FIFA 19 web app down, and it says the foot web app and other FIFA web features are down for maintenance while we prepare for FIFA 20. The new web app launches on September 18th, so that would be. By the time you're watching this video, that will be the day after you watch this video. So that will be on Wednesday, September 18th. The web app will be available. So I think the good news is anybody watching this video, at minimum, you're going to have access to FIFA 20 on Wednesday, September 18th, which is actually like really soon. That's like less than 48 hours. So that's a big positive, um, you know, coming up or for this coming week. That's a very big positive. So on Wednesday, you 100% will have access to the web app. That's a date that you guys can put in your books. And I would say that it may come tomorrow night, again, for the same reason. If EA, and in the past, I'll tell you this, I've played FIFA 15 and 16 web app. They brought it out at the time they were supposed to. That web app died, man. The servers can't take the amount of people going on at the same time. So that's why they do something instead of a hard release. 
called a soft release and you know it's basically their way of just kind of easing people onto the servers because ea definitely doesn't make enough money with packs to upgrade the server so they don't upgrade it now ea access right fifa 20 early access um what is it right it's the it's the access for you guys to get on early basically if you pre-ordered the champions or the ultimate edition you guys are going to get the early unlimited access on the 24th of september the full game comes out on the 27th of September. Those are the dates you need to know. You're going to get the game three days early. However, their advertisement with EA Access, it's a monthly payment of $5. Basically, you get to play FIFA 20 10 days early. Now, what they don't tell you is that, guys, there is a 10-hour limit on the EA Access. There's a 10-hour limit, but what you guys are going to want to do is go on either console if you're planning on doing this. Go on to your console. Go on to whatever store. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your store however long it takes i don't know how long it takes just make sure that you guys have this thing downloaded because you're not going to want to have to do all this stuff on thursday or wednesday or whenever this drops nick is there a way to preload it no there's no way at the moment to preload it so go onto the store on the playstation um just make sure you guys are going in and as you guys can see those are my rec well my my re i thought that was my recent search that isn't i downloaded the beta uh for modern warfare so go into there don't click on any of that stuff on the bottom just go to the ea access hub just download it. It's a very small file. You should be all able to, you know, open it up, right? Once you open it up, EA Access, it will open up. It will look something like this. Um, and basically what you will do is you will, FIFA 20 will be able to be played when it shows in there. Right now, you can't actually see it. Now, why am I making this video? Because there is a glitch for EA Access to get unlimited hours. That's why, look, if it was 10 hours, I wouldn't be that excited for this EA Access. But there is a glitch to play unlimited hours of fifa and i will talk about it in this video but i'm not going to tell you exactly what it is because look we don't know what it is it's been different every single year so that's why i'm going to glance over and brief upon it but you'll log into ea access they'll tell you um to sign up with any dollar amount it's going to be a 4.99 a month now do this for yourself right now if you guys are a guy that is going to or a girl if you're going to plan on doing this or the unlimited glitch don't do what i did in the last two years guys in the last two years on xbox i have made four to five accounts deleted the accounts off my playstation not remembered the password and had recurring payments on for three months so do the math if i had five accounts i can't do the math i probably had to spend 55 dollars on stupid ea access on five accounts until i finally called xbox three months later when i realized it which is clueless of me to go and cancel it so when you make each account either keep the account on the console or two once you finish the 10 hours on that account, go ahead and unsubscribe from EA Access. Do it right away. Because if you don't unsubscribe, they do a re recurring payment and it's just going to keep billing you. And you guys are going to be really pissed off when you check a statement in a month or two. I'm telling you. There's going to be people in this video that don't listen to me. Unsubscribe. Take one minute. I know you guys want to play FIFA. You guys got to do it though, man. I'm telling you. I went crazy when I realized that I had all that. Ugh, I don't want to talk about it. But... So, write passwords down, write anything down, because what you're going to have to do for this glitch, you're going to have to keep making accounts. So, you subscribe to EA Access. Nick, does it matter if I subscribe today or tomorrow? No, it doesn't matter. This is a monthly thing, so all you need it is going to be from Wednesday until your early access with the one you pre-ordered. So, it's like five days. You're going to need it for one week, and this is a monthly program. So, you could have bought it a week ago, and it's all good. All right? So, you're going to buy it for $5 on your main account. That's very important that you buy it for $5 on your main account, and then... Once that trial runs out, you're going to basically have to make another account. Then you're going to buy EA Access or subscribe to EA Access on that account. So you're going to have to keep doing that to get each time 10 hours. So you're probably at this point wondering, Nick, how do I put those hours onto my main account? Okay. Now, there's been a few things throughout the years. In FIFA 18, what you did was you were logged on to both accounts and you invited on foot the second account you invited or you invited from the second account the main account you accepted it you had the notification come up on screen and then it backed you out of foot and then you would log in with your main account on the foot just from the fifa menus um and then it would tell you basically how to do it right it would basically log you right into your foot and then the hours would just transfer over from the second account to the main account and you just keep doing hours with that now obviously in fifa 19 that was different in fifa 19 that didn't work anymore and everybody was like oh my god it doesn't work anymore what are we gonna do and then somebody found a glitch right so this is another glitch this is for my boy mitch i love the guy he's what's up all right so this is basically i would have told you this but mitch has got it on my 
perfect for us to read out. So one, start FIFA and EA Access, wait for the notification connecting, close FIFA instantly and start it again, press the X button multiple times. If you don't see the notification access trial, it has worked. So basically, you know, you know that you're you're on the glitched version if instead of access trial in the bottom right corner, it just says um, nothing. It just says EA FIFA. It doesn't say the access trial. It's confusing, I know. Um, now, what I would tell you guys is I personally, for the number two, I did I backed out um, when it said hospitality settings. I didn't back out when it said connecting. So I don't know if that's different. And also, I don't know if this is going to be the exact glitch in FIFA 20. That's also why I don't want to like make this video and be like, glitch of ea access because personally guys i don't know exactly what the glitch is going to be because for me in the last two years i've done different glitches for the ea access it's a different one every year so it all comes back to this point and questions you guys may ask me nick do you think that this is the glitch is going to be available this year i do guys i really do so i think there will be a way to do it from the people that i've spoken to um that have played madden and have played nhl um and have played um, I think those are the two games that have been released so far. From the people that I've played that have played those games, oh my god, this is my don't open folder. I'm not supposed to open this, but the people that have played those so far um, have told me essentially that yes, it worked. I didn't ask them for the exact glitch, but I think the glitch is going to work. What I will do, guys, is I, you guys know I'm going to be streaming on Twitch like a dog when this game comes out. That's not even a good comparison, but I will be. So make sure you come my streams because I'm obviously going to be doing the glitch if it, there is a glitch because I need the access and I'm going to be streaming long hours. What I'm going to show you guys right now is just kind of briefly how to sort of do it. Um, this is kind of the concept of it. You'd be logged into another account that had the access. You'd be logging in through EA Access to the FIFA 19. Um, and then right as you're logging in, you would switch into your, well, you would switch into your main account as you're logging in. It's complicated. But basically what it means by that notification that says connecting, essentially at this menu right here, this is when you would, this is when you back out. Um, right here. I think this is, I think you log in with your second account at this time. Um, so it's, see how it's, it's going to do the, wait, is it going to do the whole connecting thing? Why is the server so slow right now? Okay. So see this right here. This is, I did it on Xbox last year. So ready? Here we go. Run the full market, connect to the servers. All right. And then this is what I did right when it did like that. Then I would do close application. Yes. And then you switch to the main account. And then you load load into the FIFA 19. And then right where my face came in is in the bottom right corner. There's going to be something that says EA Access Trial. And you just want to keep doing this until the EA Access Trial is gone. Guys, I know this is really confusing. I understand you guys. I know. I know a lot of you guys are like anxious. And like, is this going to work? Be careful what you watch on YouTube. I don't know how much of it's going to be accurate. I'm going to be doing this on my live stream. And I'll probably re-upload for you guys something on here. Just so you guys know how to do it. There's going to be a few other questions that you guys ask me. Nick, is it $5 every time? Yes, you have to pay $5 every time. There's no way to get out of it. You can on Xbox, I believe, legally under the access, like, le legitimate stuff. You can, I believe, refund it on Xbox. On PlayStation, I'm not 100% sure if you can refund it. So just keep that in mind, guys, as you guys go. On PlayStation, I'm not sure if it's refundable. So just be careful if you guys are a guy that's planning on doing this and getting your money back financially just understand before you go into this that it's possible that you may not get your money back or you may not be able to do that whole way of kind of last year where you could kind of consistently just kind of get out of it i'm not sure if that's a possibility for the upcoming year so just be careful guys as as i always say to you guys i want to take care of you guys i want to make sure you guys are not doing anything shady this is not really shady and at the end of the day ea makes more money doing this because they kind of gather more hype more people are doing it and then they're making five dollars more every time everyone does something so you're gonna ask nick is this illegal no, it's not illegal, right? I've done this three years in a row. Everyone does it. It's a known thing around the FIFA community that people just do this. So keep that in mind. And uh, hopefully the video helps you guys today. We're there. We're almost there, man. I cannot wait to start giving you guys real amazing content. I know the content has been fun, the pre-content. But I'm so ready for the real thing. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.